The Midland Fire Department held their yearly drowning prevention campaign and Swift Water Awareness Day. Every firefighter in the fire department must go through this training to be prepared for summer and other water emergencies that may occur. We're prepared for anything. We're an all-hazard department, but summer's here. We want to make sure everyone's on point and all our actions are muscle memory. Two spikes in drowning are under the age of five and between 15 and 25. Young males especially engage in high-risk behavior like jumping off the roof of a house into the pool and drinking while swimming. The most common cause of death under the age of five is drowning. A lot of people don't realize that. It could be as simple as a backyard pool or having a five-gallon bucket that ended up getting rainwater and a toddler falls head first and can't get out. Aaron Cox, battalion chief with the Midland Fire Department, says there are several things people can do to keep their family safe this summer. Number one, learn CPR. The odds are that when you uh, do CPR, it's either going to be on a family member or someone close you know to. Next thing is make sure everyone in your family knows how to swim. There's the YMCA, the Red Cross, multiple other avenues to learn to swim. Another thing is when you take your family to the nearby pool, whether it be a city pool or not, make sure your kids know their expectations. It's not a daycare to drop them off at the pool. It's impractical to think that uh, 10 lifeguards taking care of 800 to 1,000 people that are in the pool can watch everyone. The Midland Fire Department reminds families with pools at home to make sure your gates are childproof and locked and the drain covers are non-entrapment so that it won't grab hair or fingers. For DRB Media Communications Digital News, Danny Barrera.